Hello guys, today I'm gonna show you how you can make a character switcher using UMG and blueprints in Unreal Engine 4. Like this. Ok, let's get started. First of all I've created a new character. It's a blank character with uh, empty red graph. You can use your own character, I think. Uh, also, I, I created a um, hard blueprint actor. I will use it to draw our widget we will create right now. Well, let's create a widget. I'm gonna call it W underscore mesh switcher. W means widget, you know. Okay, uh, let's make a vertical box. Change anchor to center, alignment to 0, 05 and 0, 05. It's too small, I guess. Let's make a, let's make it a little bigger. Now it's fine for me. I will place it on the left side of the screen, because our character in the middle. Well, uh, now I'm gonna place three buttons inside my vertical box. Let's call them B-Mesh 1, B-Mesh 2 and B-Mesh 3. Uh, place the text inside the buttons. Rename all text blocks. I will make buttons a little bigger. Okay, uh, let's go to the graph editor. All we need for now is event construct. Drag and drop the execution pin, type uh, cast to your character's name. For me it's uh, BP play character. Now add uh, get play characters node and connect it to the object pin. Fine, uh, now we can call all characters properties. We need character smash, here is it, because we'll change it. Okay, uh, let's delete it and create a variable called character reference. Cool. Let's return to the designer, pick our first button and we need event on clicked. Press uh, this green button over here. Nice. Let's get uh, our character's reference variable we just created. Drag and drop, type mesh and set skeletal mesh. Choose your mesh. And I think we can collapse it to the function. It will be nice. Calls, uh, call this function somehow. I will call it switch mesh. Open it. Connect new mesh to the function input. Disable rain pose. 
Well, now you can choose meshes you want to switch. Copy this function uh, node for three times, because we have only three buttons. Call event on clicked from the last two buttons and connect execution pins to the function nodes. Cool! We have function, we have buttons, let's draw our widget on the screen. Open HUD actor. Uh, add node create widget, choose your widget and uh, add it to the viewport. Make sure uh, that your hat is chosen uh, in the your game mode. Now we can try to play, uh, but we will not see a cursor because I forgot to show it. Return to your widgets event graph and type get play controller. Use it to call set input uh, mode UI only function. Call set show mouse cursor. Uh, make it true. And we still can't see our cursor. Uh, okay, let's add a delayed node over here. It should help. Yep. It uh, really did. All works perfectly. And let's um, let's make another one button. Will it be close? It will close our widget. So obvious, right? <laughs> uh, and do the same things. On the event uh, clicked, get play control and now set input mode game only and uh, show mouse cursor have to be false. After that, remove from parent. Now we can switch characters and close the widget. As you can see, it's not very difficult. I can show you how it looks in real game. It's my game called Hungry Runner. You can download it. Link in the description. I hope you like it.
well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.